Hey guys, so as I said in the last video, I'm going to talk about my craft bot experience and the settings I have in detail. So when I first got the craft bot, uh, I, you have to first of all get craftware, which is what I have loaded here. And second of all, you have to install the drivers and that came on the flash drive. And I had some trouble with that because First of all, I couldn't figure out how to install it, but when I did, I couldn't install it, and so I had to ask on the forums, and I had to email Craft Unique, and they told me that I had to disable the signed drivers download thingy, so that I was able to download unsigned drivers. So after I did that, yeah, I was able to get it downloaded and run the 3D printer. So after that, um, I, I wanted to get printing and when I press print I loaded something like that right there on the bed and I press print and when I did it rammed into the side of the wall instead of printing and after going on the forums again and asking people I found out that it is because if you go to options down here the first thing it says zero zero position on the bed is at and it was on the center so it thought that the corner was in the middle but you're supposed to change it to front left corner like it is in the front left corner after that everything was all good and I was able to get printing and but I but once I started printing um, I had some trouble getting the bed to stick and I found that you had to get it pretty exact because it was too close it'll smear and or cover the nozzle and not print and if it's too far it'll just kind of walk or work its way up the nozzle and won't print so after i got pr i actually got some prints to stick i ran into another problem which was after the um, here i'll show you after the third or fourth layer the it the film i stopped feeding and i found that it, that it was because the bearing wasn't creating enough pressure on the filament and the drive wheel and to solve that I had to remove this screw that was blocking the lever from going that much farther and that created just enough pressure for the wheel to keep or the bearing to make pressure on the filament so now I am printing minus that screw <laughs> but it's going good anyway so it didn't do any damage all right um, so after I fixed that, I had to start making a bunch of test prints just to get my settings right. And I ended up telling it, settling on something like this that kind of varies every once in a while. What I have here is for my extrusion width, usually it's 0.2 and layer height 0.2, medium, depending on what I'm printing, it'll go to 0.1. I've never done 0.3, but yeah. Uh, first layer height, I don't think it really, for me, it doesn't matter whether I make it bigger or smaller. Some people say, make it bigger, it'll get better adhesion, but it hasn't done that really for me. Um, here, filament, it'd be 1.75 for the craft pot. Uh, so the speed ratio, I usually keep it 100 for both. And I just chose a square grid. You can do a triangle, parallel lines, or anything. And for the density, I usually do 10 to 20. For I had zero because I had some letters that didn't need any, but usually I do zero or 10 to 20, and one line thickness for the infill. And for the top and bottom layer, I just do parallel lines, and I usually do three layers, which I because the first one's kind of messy and the other two clean it up. And then I go down here to the vertical shell, which is the wall. I usually do two loops, which is enough for me. But you can do more if you want. I don't find that I need any skirt, brim, or raft when I'm printing. Most of the time, I haven't tried very many. For my speed, I usually do 60, 40, 60. But um, for this one, I slowed it down for the letters because they're small. I didn't want it to go too fast. Usually 70% on the initial ones. And oh, on the far travel, I had to make the. Because it usually goes back 
into the head and then back out. But when it came back out, it was kind of lagging, so it didn't put out enough filament. So I had to bump that number up by 0.05. And we go over here, all this stuff I just left alone. Heating, 2, 215 for my filament, which is this one with by seller faith prices on eBay right there and it's around twenty two dollars and eighteen cents which and I actually like the filament it is this white filament right here oh it's really dark right now but it's actually white let's see whatever yeah this filament I like very much because it's it prints really nice and it's smooth so yeah that's what I have for my heating and cooling and or sorry the bed is 60 and so we slice that up we can go to print and right here I don't usually change anything just turn on the heater the heated bed and the head and, and oh, down here I don't usually no sorry I usually don't change anything here. Um, so what I found out was I wanted I was checking Cura because I heard about Cura before, and, and when I slice the same object and the same settings, Cura usually takes about half as long as this one to print. And I really wanted to get Cura to work, but when I try to get it to work, this happened. And I tried this many times. The beds are I don't know why the bed it keeps messing up with the bed. And what it did was, it ram it rammed it into the bed, and gouged a huge hole in the shape of the object. Now I'm forced to print over here around that. So I don't recommend using Cura because it will not work right, unless someone can figure it out, which I hope you do because I want to use Cura. Anyways, um, yeah, that was not a good experience. <laughs> um. Another thing was, as I started printing, I kind of noticed, sorry, I keep taking it off the tripod, I kind of noticed that what, my bed is kind of pushing down here at the corners. It's like sloping down right here and right here where there's no support. And you can actually tell the nose is actually closer here than it is here. And I don't know what's going on with that, but hopefully I can get a glass bed for it, and maybe that'll solve the problem. So that's that. Um, overall, the printer is good. I like it. It's pretty efficient. Um, if you leave all the settings alone, usually the time's pretty accurate, maybe off by 10 minutes or so. But usually the time estimates over here are pretty accurate so you can see it says finish time length travel and then the amount of each usually that's accurate so I like this printer craftware needs some tuning up hopefully they can make it faster as fast as cure is printing or slicing but overall not a bad printer I'm really happy with this printer and it's definitely worth the $400 I paid for the Indiegogo Spat or Indiegogo campaign, and I think it's definitely worth the $670, I think, on their website. Overall, great printer. I can't wait for them to update the firmware so I can use the touchscreen, and I highly recommend this printer. Um, uh, when I'm done talking, I'm going to include a couple of time lapses of some prints going so you can see kind of how it works. The lighting's kind of weird with the LEDs and the shadows, but it, it works. Uh, so thank you for watching. Comment in the comment section if you have any questions. I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities. And like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more content about 3D printing. Alright, thank you for watching.